Hello, and thanks for joining us. In this video, you'll learn how to apply conditional formatting to your worksheets in Excel 2010. For this lesson, we'll be using the employment data set. Conditional formatting is a great feature for highlighting different characteristics of your data and quickly calling attention to specific cells. Maybe you want to find products that have the highest sales growth. Perhaps you want to find employees with birthdays in the current month. Or, Maybe you want to find the salespeople with the best and worst results this past quarter. All of this can be done in a quick, dynamic fashion with conditional formatting. You can change the background color, text color, and even add a descriptive icon or data bar depending on the value of the cell or another cell in the same workbook. Let's get started by showing you how to apply conditional formatting to the cells in your workbook. Click on cell G2 in the salary field and then hit Control shift down to highlight the entire column. On the Home tab of the ribbon, you'll find the Styles group. This is where you can access all of the conditional formatting features in Excel. When you click on the Conditional Formatting button, you get a drop-down menu with several different options of how to apply conditional formatting. Hover over the top and bottom rules selection to expand that menu. Then click on top 10 percent. This will allow us to highlight the top 10 percent of employee salaries. Even though this formatting option is named top 10 percent, notice that you can enter in percentages different from 10. Let's change this to 20 here. If you click on the drop-down menu to the right, you get several options on what the conditional formatting could look like, including the option for custom formatting. We'll cover that in more detail in another video. For now, let's choose the light red fill with dark red text for our salary data. Then click on OK. Now you can see the top 20% of salaries have been highlighted in the worksheet. This is a simple example of conditional formatting. But there are other ways that we could format the salary column. To keep things clean and simple, we should remove the current formatting before we add more. Click on the Conditional Formatting button on the Styles group. Then select the Manage Rules option at the bottom. This opens a dialog box where you can see all of the conditional formatting for the workbook. It looks blank right now because its default setting is to show rules for the current selection, or the currently selected cell, and that cell doesn't have any formatting. Click on the drop down menu and select this worksheet to see all the rules for the current worksheet. If you want to delete a rule, you can click on the rule to select it and then click on Delete Rule. Now click OK and we're ready to apply a new format. To apply a new format, reselect the salary field by clicking on cell G2 and then hit Control Shift and Down to select the entire column. Now click on Conditional Formatting and hover over the Data Bars selection to expand that menu. You'll see several choices for how you want your bars to look, including Gradient Fill and Solid Fill. To keep things easy to see in this example, I'll use the Solid Orange Data Bars. Now you can see that each cell in the salary field has an orange bar, much like a bar chart. Here, the bars indicate the value of the cell relative to the other cells in the field. So short bars represent small salaries, while long bars are used for bigger salaries. There are lots of different options for conditional formatting, but we'll stop here for this introduction. Be sure to check out our other videos for more tutorials on how to use different conditional formats, how to customize your formatting, and how to use conditional formatting with formulas and functions.
I'll see you in the next video.